Law & Order, NBC's mega-hit procedural crime drama, is known for its longevity, spin-offs, and of course, its characters. The actors behind the fictional detectives have earned a place in our hearts after many years on the screen. These are the actors who spent the most time on Law & Order. Chris Noth was a relative unknown when he was cast as Detective Mike Logan, making his debut in the very first episode of Law & Order in 1990. As the show's popularity grew, so did Noth's stardom. By the fifth season, he left the show in search of greener pastures. It didn't take Noth long to find another role, and an even more iconic one to boot, Mr. Big in Sex and the City, and he struck gold again with a role on The Good Wife. Noth didn't entirely say goodbye to Logan when he exited Law & Order in 1995. He returned to the role in the 1998 Law & Order TV movie Exiled, and again in the spin-off Law & Order Criminal Intent. Jesse L. Martin joined Law & Order in 1999, and as he told Entertainment Weekly, he felt that the show's procedural format, focusing on the crime of the week while ignoring characters' personal lives, suited his acting style, saying, "...to me, that's the best part of acting, just getting the story across. I think you learn more about a character through the telling of the story." Martin departed in 2008, following nine seasons. As he explained in a different interview with Entertainment Weekly, the one-time Broadway star was eager to return to treading the boards, saying, "...I need to get back on stage before I get too scared to do it again." And with that schedule, it would be really difficult for me to ever really get to do anything like that." True to his word, Martin returned to Broadway in 2010, starring alongside Al Pacino in a production of Shakespeare's The Merchant of Venice. From the very first season of Law & Order, Stephen Hill was an instant fan favorite thanks to his portrayal of fast-thinking district attorney Adam Schiff. Thanks to the success of Law & Order, Schiff not only became the longtime actor's most notable screen role, but it was also his final one. After exiting the show in 2000 after 10 seasons, he never appeared on screen again. He died in 2016 at age 94. Creator Dick Wolf told Variety, "...Stephen was not only one of the truly great actors of his generation, he was one of the most intelligent people I have ever met." Kelly Giddish has been on Law & Order Special Victims Unit since 2011, taking on the role of Detective Amanda Rollins at the start of the show's 13th season. However, her Law & Order journey actually began a few years earlier in 2007, when she guest starred on Law & Order Criminal Intent and actually appeared in a different role on SVU as a victim that same year, clearly making an impression. Prior to joining the Law & Order juggernaut, Giddish had already established her television bona fides as the lead actor in the primetime series Past Life and Chase. In a 2011 interview with TV Guide, Giddish explained why she jumped at the opportunity to be part of an ensemble cast, explaining, "...I've been saying, oh my god, this is so nice being on SVU, where it's not all on my shoulders. With this show, I'm becoming a part of a team that's established, and that's certainly a great feeling. I would be envious of me if I was anybody else." No character in the Law & Order universe is more beloved than Detective Lenny Briscoe, portrayed by the late Jerry Orbach. While Orbach wasn't there at the beginning, he was an instant fan favorite. His 12-season run ended with his 2004 death from prostate cancer at age 69. Known as a New York theater veteran, he also made a name for himself on the silver screen, best remembered there as the father of Jennifer Grey's baby in Dirty Dancing. In a 2004 interview with the Boston Globe, Orbach theorized about why the rigid Law & Order story structure resonated with viewers, explaining, "...it's almost like a ritual. You know there's going to be a body found, and we're going to look for who did it, and then there's going to be some twist at the trial. People tune in. They know what's coming, and they like it that way." The beloved duo of Olivia Benson and Elliot Stabler of Law & Order Special Victims Unit came to an abrupt end in 2011 when Christopher Maloney left the show after 12 seasons, with Stabler written off SVU when the actor's contract negotiations went south. Elliot put his papers in. There was nothing I could do." After appearing in numerous TV series, including True Blood, Surviving Jack, Underground, and Happy, Deadline reported in spring 2020 that Maloney would be returning to the fold, reprising Stabler in a new spinoff, Law & Order Organized Crime. Speaking with Entertainment Weekly, Maloney explained why he decided to resurrect Stabler a decade later, saying, "...I was intrigued for a variety of personal reasons. If you have, at least from my perspective, a very well-known and beloved TV character who left abruptly and, I would argue, unceremoniously, there's a built-in recognizability, a thing that needs to be satiated with a sense of closure. Those are all very attractive things. Tony Award winner B.D. Wong made his first appearance in SVU's second season as FBI psychiatrist Dr. George Wong. 
Wang left SVU after 10 seasons in order to star in a new series called Awake. When Awake was quickly canceled, Wang returned to SVU in 2012. He made one appearance per season on the show until his final one in 2015. Since then, Wang has appeared in numerous TV series, including Aquafina as Nora from Queens, Mr. Robot, Gotham, and American Horror Story. In an interview with KQED, Wang admitted he wasn't thrilled about the way his SVU character was revealed to be gay. It's, it's despicable. I've never seen you this ticked off before. Pseudoscience like this insults my intelligence as a psychiatrist and my humanity as a gay man. According to the openly gay actor, I was also kind of torn because, you know, it's positive, but it did feel a little convenient or kind of lazy or, you know, kind of not particularly the best way that you want to come out as a character. Sam Waterston is another Law & Order longtimer, joining the show at the start of the fifth season and playing the principled and idealistic district attorney Jack McCoy until the final season of Law & Order in 2010. He's continued to maintain a busy acting schedule, most recently in the Netflix hit Grace and Frankie, and he returned to the Law & Order fold when he reprised the role of Jack McCoy for Law & Order Special Victims Unit in 2018. In 2010, he opened up to CBS News about the impact that he's had thanks to Law & Order, marveling, "...I can't tell you the number of people who have come up to me on the street and said, I'm a lawyer because of you." The honor of longest tenured cast member of the original Law & Order goes to Esipate the Murkison, who joined the series in season 4 and wound up sticking around for 17 seasons as NYPD Lieutenant Anita Van Buren. You want to indict a guy because of a dessert? Well, it is killer chocolate cake for you. When the series was canceled by NBC in 2010, Murkison left the world of Law & Order, but she didn't stray too far. Just a few years later, in 2015, she was cast in Chicago Med from Law & Order creator Dick Wolf. In 1998, Murkerson spoke to the Washington Post about her Law & Order role. According to Murkerson, her passion remained in theater, and the laid-back Law & Order schedule allowed her to stay in touch with her stage roots, explaining, "...I rehearse, they put my wig on, I get dressed, we rehearse again, maybe twice, and we shoot." Richard Belzer had a singularly unique path to joining Law & Order Special Victims Unit, portraying Detective John Munch since the spinoff's first episode in 1999. Munch had previously been a fixture in a completely different TV crime drama, Homicide Life on the Street. In fact, Belzer holds the record for the most appearances in other shows by a single television character, thanks to John Munch appearing in Arrested Development, 30 Rock, The Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, and other programs. Jokingly lamenting that he'd been a TV cop for so long the public had forgotten he was actually a stand-up comic, Belzer expressed gratitude for being able to inhabit the conspiracy-loving detective for so long, saying, "...you know, the part is a gift from God. I'm grateful every day. I'll do it till I drop, I guess, or drop out." As it turned out, Belzer opted for the latter. He exited the show later that year during season 17. Dan Florek was a member of the original cast of Law & Order when it premiered in 1990, portraying NYPD Captain Don Cragen. Florek parted ways with the show in 1993 when series creator Dick Wolf axed him and co-star Richard Brooks. Wolf brought Florek back for a single 1995 episode and again in 1998 for the TV movie Exiled. In 1999, the actor joined the cast of Law & Order Special Victims Unit and stuck around, with Florek playing the role until he departed the series in 2014, though he would return for episodes in 2015 and 2021. The the explanation for Florek's departure was reportedly his age in relation to the NYPD's actual mandatory retirement policy by age 63. Since the second season of Law & Order Special Victims Unit, Tamara Tooney has portrayed medical examiner Dr. Melinda Warner. Since she's not a series regular on SVU, Tooney has been free to appear in other series such as 24 and Better Call Saul, in addition to nearly 1,300 episodes of the daytime soap As the World Turns, between 1987 and 2009. In addition to her television work, Tooney has also carved out a career on stage in New York City. A founding member of Black Theatre United, she's also headlined her own cabaret show Yes, I Sing. Interestingly enough, Tooney landed her SVU role despite missing her audition, telling du jour, "...so I said to my agent, "'Come on, I've done all the shows, so they know me.'" Rapper Ice-T was cast as Detective Finn Tutuola in the second season of Law & Order Special Victims Unit. The role has always been steeped in irony, given the intense controversy surrounding his 1992 track Cop Killer and his own run-ins with the law when he was a young man. In a 2019 interview at TV Insider, Ice-T admitted that, after playing a detective for two decades, his opinion of police was more nuanced, saying, "...I know they work hard and they're underpaid, but I also know when you play a cop, you realize there is a blue wall. They do cover for each other, and it's kind of like them against the world, and the world against them. As for why he stuck around SVU for so long, he explained, "...everyone on the show is very cool. No one has harsh words, and Dick Wolf's check's clear, so it's nice work." 
When it comes to law and order longevity, one name stands above all others, Mariska Hargitay, who's portrayed Olivia Benson since the first episode of SVU in 1999, and there's no signs of her stopping. As Hargitay said in a 2019 interview with The Hollywood Reporter, the show is challenging, it's exhausting, it's a marathon, and there are hard days and there are days when I'm like, you know what, I might be done, I'm so tired I can't see straight, and then there are days when I get on my knees and I say, thank you God. What's also kept her around so long, she added, are the behind-the-camera opportunities the show has given her. Telling The Hollywood Reporter, I'm directing, producing is a whole new world. I grew into Boss Lady, and I like it. I like it and I'm good at it. As for how long fans might see her as Olivia Benson, Harkate trusts her intuition, saying, when I'm done, I'll know it. When I'm like, okay, there's no more to mine here and now I'm phoning it in and I've got to go. But I'm not yet. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite Law & Order actors are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.